My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the, cel the church celebrates the memorial of St. Teresa of Avila, great doctor of the church, one of the spiritual giants uh, of our faith, and one whose writings and mysticism have informed so many other, not just in the Carmelite order, but so many other saints who followed her. And so it seems appropriate to give extra time and meditation to her writings today, and one such example is offered in today's offer, uh, Office of the Readings uh, from one of her works. And so St. Teresa says, If Christ Jesus dwells in a man as his friend and noble leader, that man can endure all things, for Christ helps and strengthens us and never abandons us. He is a true friend. And I clearly see that if we expect to please him and receive an abundance of his graces, God desires that these graces must come to us from the hands of Christ, through his most sacred humanity in which God takes delight. Many, many times I have perceived this through experience. The Lord has told it to me. I have definitely seen that we must enter by this gate if we wish his sovereign majesty to reveal to us great and hidden mysteries. A person should desire no other path even if he is at the summit of contemplation. On this road, he walks safely. All blessings come to us through our Lord. He will teach us, for in beholding his life, we find that he is the best example. What more do we desire from such a good friend at our side? Unlike our friends in the world, he will never abandon us when we are troubled or distressed. Blessed is the one who truly loves him and always keeps him near. Let us consider the glorious St. Paul. It seems that no other name fell from his lips than that of Jesus, because the name of Jesus was fixed and embedded in his heart. Once I had come to understand this truth, I carefully considered the lives of some of the saints, the great contemplatives, and found that they took no other path. Francis, Anthony of Padua, Bernard, Catherine of Siena, a person must walk along this path in freedom, placing himself in God's hands. If God should desire to raise us to the position of one who is an intimate and share his secrets, we ought to accept this gladly. Whenever we think of Christ, we should recall the love that led him to bestow on us so many graces and favors, and also the great love God showed in giving us in Christ a pledge of his love, for love calls for love in return. Let us strive to keep this always before our eyes and arouse ourselves to love him. For if at some time the Lord should grant us the grace of impressing his love on our hearts, all will become easy for us, and we shall accomplish great things quickly and without effort. St. Teresa of Avila, pray for us.